Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2Rs, 2Bs, Gundam Reviews. Dot net. And it's hard to believe, but it's been 16 days since the Gundam games kicked off. 18, I suppose, if you want to count the qualifiers. And even harder to believe, I want to say a big thank you to the 12,000 votes that were received and all the people. Of course, a lot of people do that multiple times. Voting, though, was no small task because it meant checking daily, logging in, searching for my comments, spammed or not. And despite a very imperfect voting system, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to participate and for the lot of fun. But now, without further ado, the final match, Gundam 00 versus Zeta Gundam. Which one is going to be the series of series? Well, you decided. And it was, in fact, by a very large margin, Gundam 00. So congratulations to this series, one of the newest, being named the best or your favorite Gundam series movie or OVA. The final vote last time when I cut off the voting was 00900 votes and Zeta 492. And something that I've got to say again thanks for is thank you for taking the time to re-vote. So that was just great. There were lots of previous votes. Those weren't counted. However, at the end of the day, there's a few things we can take away from this. A new defeating old. Uh, however, it's not the newest one in the form of Gundam Age or anything like that. So no recency there. Also, some people will be happy and some people will be sad, but we've got an AC defeating the UC, but on the other hand, we had three UC uh, series in the, in the semi-finals. However, going back to the quarterfinals, it was four UC and four AC for a pretty interesting split. But once you go and take a look at the actual matches, it was sort of cool because Double O had the most votes per round. So in the round of 16, taking a look at all the 16 series that were in there, Double O had the most there. They had the most in the quarterfinals, most in the semifinals, and of course, the most in the finals. Taking a look at some of the matches, quite a few caught the eye. As you can see with my highly complex spreadsheet system here, you've got Turn A defeating Double Zeta by only a few votes. There were all sorts of surprises. Destiny going out of the first round, I suppose, is not that big. Big margin win there for Wing. 08th MS Team, I was happy to see that go through. And there, Double O versus Unicorn. How far could that have gone if it hadn't faced the champion in the first round? I suppose we won't know in this tournament. First knocking off X, despite their similarities, and G beating Char's counterattack. Sort of surprising that that didn't go through. Zeta knocking off Age, and on to this quarterfinals, where you've got Double O, 471, knocking off my 08th MS team. I was a little sad to see it go out there. Same with turn A, Double O, 80, though, going all the way to the semis, which was pretty impressive. And look at that, Zeta knocking off G Gundam by only three votes there. I think afterwards it actually switched in terms of who the actual, who was actually ahead in terms of the thumbs up. But as of the cutoff, and that led Zeta all the way onto the finals, and same thing. Who would have guessed Wing going out in the corners? However, it was up against First Gundam. That quickly went on, though, to lose to the next generation in the form of Zeta there, and Double O crushed Double O A D before moving on to the final. And again, that's some pretty impressive numbers, thanks to all of you. So between the close matches and the surprises like UC Seed and Char's counterattack going on in the first round, Remember that the structure of this tournament, this is a knockout tournament, uh, which could have been used in Olympic badminton or so it seems. But remember that doesn't necessarily mean that the, sa the finalist, it just means they were on the right side of the bracket. That could have been G going all the way through, or who knows, Unicorn could have fared differently. Remember, if you're playing in the World Cup and you go out to Spain in the first knockout round, there's no shame in that. You may, you may actually be the second best series. Nonetheless, some of them going all the way on like 0080, having three wins, that's still pretty, or two wins there is still pretty impressive, so it's the nature of the tournament, but at the end of the day, there's no doubt as to who your favorite was here. At the end of the day though, it's a lot of fun seeing all the passion when people are defending their series in the comments and the back and forth there, and I hope that at the end of the day you had some fun playing, watching, and voting all along with this, and I sure did. It was really exciting to log in every day and see who you, cho you chose, surprises or not, and despite my 08th MS team getting knocked out. And at the end of the day, I'm hoping that this is going to guide some new fans to Gundam, at least give them an indication as to which series may have more fans than others, and hopefully get some new fans off on the right track. At the end of the day, though, if you want to leave some feedback about the tournament, the format, and everything else like that, double O, were they a worthy winner? I'm sure there's uh, about 492 people who would disagree. But at the end of the day, I want to say thanks to everybody. And yes, despite all the disagreements, I'm sure we can all agree that both Pearl Harbor, yeah, the movie, and G Savior sucked. And that double O has at least got to be better than those. Don't forget, coming up, there's going to be something pretty cool that I'm hoping that will show you uh, this in a little bit of context. It's always fun on YouTube that when you upload a video, you can actually see where your viewers are all coming from. So lots of people check this out from Japan, but let me tell you, it's not gonna be as many as Gundam Ace. 
So stick around because I'll have a listing of Japan's favorite Gundam series movies and OVAs shortly, and you can see that there's going to be some interesting similarities and interesting differences between them, so don't forget to check back soon for that result as well. But once again, congratulations to the Gundam Games champion, Gundam 00, your favorite Gundam series. And uh, don't forget the Gundam World Cup winner back there, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz version from the OVA. Anyway, everybody, it was a lot of fun running these, and I hope you had lots of fun playing. So stick around for lots more news reviews and everything else you can use, including the odd thing like this. Thanks for watching. See ya. Do you think we'll ever get our due and be involved in one of these games? Well, probably not. The votes would probably be something like 6 to 3 or something like that.